I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Welcome, 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 my dear friend, to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. There is no better place to be than in the presence of God. We flourish in the presence of God. Ideas are birthed in the presence of God. New ideas, breakthrough, innovation, it comes to us in the presence of God. It's so good to be in the presence of God today. It's so good to have another opportunity to seek the Lord with you today. My dear friend, I encourage you, press in with all of your heart and receive from God. Now, today, my dear friends, we're going to be speaking about trusting God. And the first scripture that I want to take is from the book of Psalms, chapter 37, from verse 5 in the ISV version. It says, commit your way to the Lord, trust Him, and He will act. My dear friend, if you want to know the way to bring God on the scene, to bring the Lord God Almighty on the scene, to bring the Lord God Almighty into that situation, to help you in that situation. It's to commit that situation to God and to trust Him. There is something about trusting God that puts a demand on God to begin to act on your behalf. When you trust God, it invites Him to act on your behalf. Now, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, in the ISV version, it says, entrust your work to the Lord and your planning will succeed. Entrust your work to the Lord and your planning will succeed. You see, my dear friend, many people out there are trying to make other plans. They're trying to make their own plans. They're trying to make plans or find solutions other than trusting in God. And the Bible makes it clear, the way for your planning and your work and all that you do as a born again believer, a child of God, is to commit or entrust your work to the Lord and your planning will succeed. The third scripture that I want to read to you is from the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 from verse 7 in the ISV version. It says, Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord, making the Lord his trust. My dear friend, this shows us one more thing about trusting God. It shows us that trusting God brings the blessing of God on your life. Trusting God singles you out from other people. It singles you out from people who don't trust God. Trusting God will bring the blessing of God on your life. Now, I want to recap, I want to read through all of them. Psalm 37 verse 5, ISV version. Commit your way to the Lord, trust Him, and He will act. Proverbs 16 verse 3, ISV version. Entrust your work to the Lord, and your planning will succeed. Jeremiah 17 verse 7, ISV version. Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord, making the Lord His trust. My dear friend, I've got one thing to say, and that is that God said it, he said it in His Word, I believe it, and that settles it. Let's go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you that even as you trust God, God is going to bless you and He's going to come through for you mightily. So in saying that, take yourself and your device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God, and even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down, and God will touch, and He will bless you. In saying that, my dear friend, begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we praise You. We glorify Your holy name. We magnify You today. Thank You for another day that You've given us. We praise You. We lift up Your name. Be lifted up. Be glorified. Be glorified in my life and in my dear friend's life. Wherever my dear friend is watching, we give You praise and we thank You. Distance is not a barrier. And whenever my dear friend will watch this, it doesn't matter if it's a day later, if it's a week later, if it's a month later, if it's a year later, or even a few years later. Whenever my dear friend watches this, time is not a barrier for you. I give you praise and I thank you that today you're going to touch my dear friend and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We give you praise and we thank you that it is a done deal and my dear friend is blessed. We give you praise and we thank you for all that you do and for making a way through Jesus Christ our Lord that we could come to you daily, that we could seek you, that we could be reconciled back to you. We give you praise and we thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious and He is a merciful God. And as we pray today, I want you to trust Him. 
Believe him with all of your heart and you will see how God will come through for you. Trust in the Lord and you will see his deliverance working power. Trust in the Lord and you will see what he can do. There are benefits and there is power in trusting God. When you trust God, the power of God is released. The dunamis power of God is released. The angels of the living God are released to fight on your behalf. So trust God with all of your heart and you will see what he can do. In saying that, my dear friend, we're going to begin to pray. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray today. Help me to seek the Father. Help me to press in. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, you will see God do what only He can do. Because the Bible says, where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. It also says where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. As my dear friend chooses to trust you today, in this hour, in this time, in this time in the world right now where so many things are happening, intervene divinely in my dear friend's life and let my dear friend see what only you can do. Your power, your grace is sufficient. Your power is enough to deliver us. And we put our trust in you, O God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Do signs, wonders, and miracles. Lord, if my dear friend needs a breakthrough in the area of finances, let that breakthrough manifest. If my dear friend needs a breakthrough in the area of a job, of their business, of their career, let that breakthrough manifest. If my dear friend needs a breakthrough and a healing in their health, let a healing take place even today. Wherever there's any spirits of infirmity, Father, by your power and by your grace, drive them out right now and take my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I release a blessing over you as you put your trust in God. May God do the impossible in your life. May God touch you and change your life. May he take you to a greater glory. May he take you to a greater altitude. May you see the deliverance working power of God. May you see what God can do in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.